Hey team, so you're like me and you threw down on the Ishgard housing lottery and you got up today and you were all excited and you went to check the results of that lottery and you weren't the winner. So first, if you were one of the folks whose plot lottery winning number was zero, you might still have a chance. Hopefully they go back and rerun that same lottery. I don't know why they included zero as a potential winning lottery, but I would still put through a support ticket just so they know that you know that it's a bug. And how you do that real quick, you just go over here to system, support desk, contact us, report a bug, and I would enter in some notes there and submit for that bug. You know, I entered in for the lottery, it came up zero, obviously zero is not a real lottery ticket number, whatever you want to put in there, but at least send something. And if enough people send stuff, then they'll have to resolve it versus just pushing those plots through to the next lottery. So I would definitely do that. If you, like me, just straight lost the lottery, what I would recommend you do is start shopping in other housing zones because as people are transitioning, the winners are transitioning into the Empyrium, their plots are going to show as open. They'll be unavailable, but their plots are going to show open. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the map here, and you can see there's one close to me that is showing those little, uh, the little like auction hammer means that it's one that's available. So if I go over here, see that there's a small, so there's not one I'm going to put on my list, but if that's what you're looking for, you can click on it. And you'll see available to free companies. So this part's important and I think this is going to be kind of challenging. If you're a free company and you're looking for a free company house, congratulations. You're going to have more options because wards 1 through 18 are for free companies only. Even as this pushes through to the uh, older housing zones and housing wards. If you're someone like me looking for a personal, this is really going to constrain the amount of plots that you have available as this continues to go through time so i don't know if they're trying to push personal housing out of the game it kind of feels like it to me when they give such a massive amount to free companies and just a few little wards i think i think it was fine to do it with ishgard but i feel like these uh next plots the plots that come from the old housing zone should not be restricted personal or free company but that's just my opinion yours may be different but anyway so you're going to be looking on the map in the different zones. And if you're free company, you're going to be looking 1 through 18. And then if you're personal, it's 19 through 20, whatever. And you're going to be looking for those. And then what you do is if you find some you like, like I'll show you one that I've, uh, that actually Mirala found for me. I'm going to go to the Far East. I'm going to go to Kugani. Residential District Ethernet. Go to a specific ward and make sure you're checking the subdivision and the regular housing area. As you can see here in the subdivision, nothing yet. And then here there's just the one. But if I run over here, this is a great plot. I would take this plot. There's probably going to be a zillion people going after it, but who knows? Maybe I'll win. And it'll say unavailable to free companies, available to private buyers, currently unavailable for purchase. So what this means is then on Tuesday, because it's a five day, then a four day cycle, right? So the first cycle was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which is where we're at now. And then the next will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, actually it might be results period in progress. It doesn't say when it'll either be Tuesday or Wednesday because it went Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And today is results period. And then the results are four days. So I don't know if it'll include Saturday. I believe it will. So I think it'll be the rest of Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then on Tuesday, you'll be able to put in for a new lottery. So what you want to do is you want to run around the old housing zones over the next three or four days. Look for any of those auction hammers that come up in any of the wards that you're eligible for. And then just make a little list of the houses that you'd be interested in throwing down on and a little bit quicker way to check and see what's available 
you can look at the map and look for the auctioneers hammer and mallet whatever but you can also just either at the ferry skipper or at the main eighth right of any of the housing related zones so like kugani gradania whatever will da you can click on them and when you go to travel to a specific ward you can actually look through and see look for the dollar amounts those are the plots where people have vacated those plots and have moved to ishgard so over the next few days before the next lottery ticket lottery ticket purchase time happens you'll be able to check and see have plots been added have more people moved that type of thing i mean i get it as time goes on the opportunities are going to get fewer and fewer because for some people who got ishgard housing it was their first house so that's one less that's going to vacate that type of thing plus like i said the split between free company and personal has constrained things even more but i guess even though i'm extremely disappointed in how this turned out as i'm sure many of you are i'm still dumb enough where i'm gonna keep trying and hoping to finally after two years of trying get a mansion in this game and i've heard some actually some pretty good advice where people are waiting until later in the lottery ticket purchasing time to get their ticket because then they look for the ones that have the fewest number of entries to give them the greatest possible chance i think that's a good strategy so i even had one person comment that they went in five minutes before the results were announced and put in for the lottery ticket and they were like one of five people and won that plot so you can wait right up until the very end if you want i don't know me personally i'm probably just gonna throw in on the one i want because i believe especially since i'm looking at a personal plot that there's going to be a ton of entries for this but right up until right up until the new lottery happens probably on tuesday potentially wednesday people are able to vacate so you're going to have right up until then to keep your eye out for new plots that become available. So anyway, I hope this helps and I hope we can, you know, together get a little bit more hope. Probably not a great idea, but hopefully together we can get a little more hope that even though we didn't get an Ishgard house, that maybe we can get a plot that we like in an old zone and just put an Ishgard house on it. I guess that's the next best thing. So good luck team. I hope you get the plot you want. I hope I get the plot I want. I hope Marilla gets the plot she wants, and uh, if I've got any more updates, I'll throw them in the, in the pinned comment below. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next video.